In today's functional analysis class, we start our unit 2. This is about bounded linear maps on Banach spaces. So we start with uniform boundedness principle. First, we define uniformly bounded set of functions. So definition uniformly bounded set of functions. Let C of T be a space of scalar valued bounded continuous functions on a metric space T. Let E be a subset of C of T. Then E is said to be uniformly bounded set E for all X in E and T in T there is some alpha greater than 0 such that modulus of X of T is less than or equal to alpha. So this is the definition of a uniformly bounded set of functions. So we make an observation. A set of continuous functions from a metric space to a metric space can be bounded at each point without being uniformly bounded. For example, let xn of t equal to n square t if 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 by n and 1 by t if 1 by n less than t less than or equal to 1. Four, n equal to 1, 2, etc. Then xn of t belongs to c0, 1. We have xn of 0 is 0 and modulus of xn of t is less than or equal to 1 by t for all t in 0, 1. But xn of 1 by n, this is equal to n for n equal to 1, 2, etc. Therefore, the set xn is bounded at each point of 0, 1, but it is not uniformly bounded on 0, 1. Now we prove a theorem. This theorem is known as Uniform Boundedness Principle, Theorem 9.1. So we state Theorem 9.1, the Uniform Boundedness Principle. Statement is this. Let X be a Banach space, Y be a normed space. and script f be a subset of bl of x y such that for each x in x the set f of x such that f belongs to f the script f is bounded in y then for each bounded subset E of X, the set set of all 
f of x such that x belongs to E, f belongs to f is bounded in y. That is, f script f is uniformly bounded on E. In particular, supremum norm f such that f belongs to f is less than infinity. Now pr prove this theorem. Proof for n equal to 1, 2, etc. Let dn equal to set of all x in x such that norm of f of x is greater than n for some f in f. Now for each f in f, the function x going to norm f of x is continuous on x. The set, set of all x in x such that norm f of x greater than n is open in x. Since dn is the union of all these sets, it follows that dn is open in x. Let x belongs to x. Then by hypothesis, norm of f of x is less than or equal to n for all f in f and some positive integer. So that is x does not belongs to dn. Therefore, intersection n equal to 1 to infinity dn is empty. Consequently, intersection n equal to 1 to infinity dn cannot be done in x. Now, since x is a Banach space, Bayes theorem implies that there is some dm such that dm must not be dense in x. Thus, there is some a in x and r positive such that u x a r closure intersection dm is empty. That is, if y belongs to x such that norm of y minus a is less than or equal to r, then y does not belong to dm. That is, norm of f of y is less than or equal to m for all f in f. Let E be a bounded subset of x. That is, norm of x less than or equal to alpha for all x in E and some alpha greater than 0. Consider x in E and f in f then norm of f of rx by alpha plus a is less than or equal to m. So since norm of rx by alpha plus a minus a 
this is norm of rx by alpha so this is equal to r by alpha into norm x so this is less than or equal to r by alpha into norm x is less than or equal to alpha so this is alpha so this is equal to r that is norm of rx by alpha plus a minus a is less than or equal to r so the same implies rx by alpha plus a belongs to u x a r closure so this implies norm of f of rx by alpha plus a is less than or equal to m since this implies rx by alpha plus a does not belongs to dm now we consider norm of f of x so that norm of f of x this is equal to norm of f of rx by alpha into alpha by r so alpha and r are real numbers f is linear so alpha by r into norm f of rx by alpha so this is equal to alpha by r into norm of f of rx by alpha plus a minus a again since f is linear this is alpha by r into norm of f of rx by alpha plus a minus f of a so this is less than or equal to alpha by r into norm of f of rx by alpha plus a plus norm f of a so this is less than or equal to alpha by r into norm of f of rx by alpha plus a is less than or equal to m plus norm of f of a is also less than or equal to m so this because since a belongs to u x a r closure the same implies a does not belong to dm so this is equal to alpha by r into 2m so this is 2m alpha by r that is norm f of x less than or equal to 2m alpha by r therefore the supremum norm of f of x such that x belongs to e and f belongs to f is less than or equal to 2m alpha by r that is f is uniformly bounded on e now if we let e to be ux 0 1 closure then supremum norm of f such that f belongs to f this is equal to supremum norm f of x such that x belongs to x and norm x less than or equal to 1 and f belongs belongs to f so this is less than or equal to 2m you know that alpha is 1 here so 2m divided by r so this is less than infinity so this completes the proof so that's all for today